We invented the first records. We made all of them. The worst season in the Bundesliga history. Schalke winning 4 0 at Hoffenheim wouldn't normally make too many headlines. After all, we're talking about one of Germany's most historic and well supported clubs. But, had Schalke not won, they would have equaled a remarkable Bundesliga record. This has stood for 55 years as the identity of Tasmania Berlin, a club from the Neukölln district of Germany's capital who proudly call themselves the Bundesliga's worst ever club. This tragic record that they have is one of the few things that they do hang on to. It's one of the few things that brings them not just prominence in Berlin, but, but a prominence nationwide in Germany. And as we've seen this year with, 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 with Schalke's problems, there's been international, worldwide, global attention on Tasmania Berlin. Their story is largely based around the Cold War. Both Berlin and Germany were divided into East and West, with the capital left isolated from the rest of West Germany. In order to show solidarity, it was decided the recently formed Bundesliga needed a club from Berlin. There was a lot of political and media pressure for the West German Bundesliga to have West Berlin representation. Unfortunately, Hertha got thrown out of the league in 1965 after breaching the wage cap. Virgin Regional Liga winners Tennis Borussia Berlin lost out in the promotion playoffs to Bayern Munich, whilst runners-up Spandau SV declined the offer of promotion. Needing a team from Berlin, this brings us to third place Tasmania, who were very keen to accept a place in Germany's top league. And they said, what the fuck, we're just going to try it. We can only, we can, if we lose, then we lose. The idea behind it is, I think it's just great. Even if we lost badly, we had a go, we tried. The time was real, real short, so if you did, didn't know uh, how it's going to work. Uh, but at that time, to manage to get up to the Bundesliga was like, whoa. Yeah, for the for the for the squatter uh, Neukölln for the Bezirk mm. Neukölln, it was real a uh, big thing. Yeah. Obviously, West Berlin was in Ireland and East Germany. It was very hard for to get players to, to come and play in West Berlin. What, why would you kind of want to relocate to West Berlin where you could play in your hometown? Half of the players were on holiday at the time. They were, they were drafted in last minute. They had to be brought back from holiday uh, to compete in the Bundesliga. The club had um, pretty sizable logistical and financial hurdles to overcome to even put a competitive team together. They were part-time, a lot of more amateurs. They had to become professional footballers in a short few weeks. Despite what would go on to happen, it might surprise you Tasmania won their first game of the season. 2-0 at home to Karlsruhe. It must have been a sheer willpower due of the crowd, the adrenaline they must have felt when, when, they, when they started playing professional football. But it shows how quickly it, it, can, it can go downhill. The tone was set during the next match, where on the 21st of August 1965, Tasmania lost 5-0 at München Gladbach. They saw that Gladbach, for example, very fast playing, and the defence was too old, too, too slow, and uh, at that point it was like a bit turning, the euphoria. The visitors wouldn't win again until the 21st of May 1966, or in simpler terms, 280 days. And you thought being a fan of your club was bad. Football culture is not about just being the, having the best team of winning championships or everything. Tasmania is the truest of all. It has a very, very, very interesting history. It's unique. Unsurprisingly, Tasmania hold quite a few Bundesliga records. With eight points, they recorded the lowest points total of all time. Even if converted to today's system of three points for a win, they'd have only managed 10. They recorded the most losses at 28, the lowest win percentage of just 5.88%, the lowest number of goals scored at 15, which was less than half what league top scorer Emirate managed, the most conceded at 108, and the worst goal difference at minus 93. Then there's the badge of honour to which the club still holds. 31 games without a win. I'm quite proud of the, the fact that they're 
the, the, the worst team in, in Bundesliga history. During this run, there were some crushing defeats, the worst of which came in late March 1966. Tasmania lost 9-0 at home to Meidericha, now known as Duisburg, in what to this day remains the heaviest home defeat in the Bundesliga. Warum sind Sie heute beim Fußball? No, morgen ist nichts besonders los in Berliner Fußball, ne? Und da geht man heute heute mal zu Tasmania. Danke sehr. Wir haben nur zwei Spiele, das erste Home Game und das letzte Home Game. Und ich denke, sie haben drei oder vier Spiele in der Zwischen. In terms of their home, Tasmania played their games at the famous Olympiastadion. Their poor form meant attendances got as low as 857, which, as you guessed, is another Bundesliga record highlighted by the size of their stadium. After relegation, Tasmania struggled with debts and went bankrupt in 1973. Hoping to protect their claim to fame, fans of the refounded SV Tasmania, who today play in Germany's fifth division, recently travelled to the Olympstadion to cheer outside for Schalke against Hertha. It didn't help, as they lost 3-0. If you did see game after game, as soon as they conceded first, the heads physically went down, you could physically see this burden and the name Tasmania Berlin almost hovering above the heads of the Schalke players and they, they never came back. There was a pretty heartbreaking interview that the striker Mark Root gave to one of the broadcasters after, after, after one defeat where he said he literally didn't, he was at the end of his wits and didn't know how to react. He, wanted, he said he wanted to go into the dressing room and just cry. Any club, let alone one as big as Schalke, getting that close to matching Tasmania's record was a worry for their fans. But, after Matthew Hoppy's hat-trick, their record is safe. They can sleep easy, and for the rest of us, we can continue to call Tasmania Berlin the worst Bundesliga team of all time. <laughs>